Hi, I'm Todd Wiley, a third generation pork producer from Walker, Iowa. Welcome to our family farm. Uh, we do manufacture our own feed here on the farm, and we do that uh, for a variety of reasons. The primary reason is we just have more control in terms of the quantity and the quality of ingredients that are included. Our feed mill is in operation five days out of the week, and one of the benefits to having your own feed mill, if you happen to have a group of pigs that's eating more than you prefer or that you know about, you can mix a batch of feed on Saturday and Sunday and get it delivered so those pigs aren't hungry. All of our pigs are fed a combination of corn, soybean meal, DDGs, uh, animal fat, and vitamins and minerals. DDGs are a byproduct of ethanol production, and they dry them down, and, and we utilize them in our pig feed in a, in a variety of different ways. When we wean our pigs, uh, those pigs have the highest nutritional needs in terms of needing the highest quality proteins, the most digestible energies, and as those pigs grow and mature and get older, their need for high, higher quality and, and uh, higher protein diets actually diminishes, and so we can feed them a lower cost diet and still meet their nutritional needs. Our automated system allows us to include the pounds of each ingredient that we need, and those ingredients are measured out on a weigh scale in a hopper. From the hopper, the ingredients then are augered into our mixer, and then the mixer thoroughly mixes all the ingredients that are included, and additionally, the fat is sprayed on the feed at that point. At the conclusion of the fat being sprayed on the feed, the feed continues to be mixed for a period of time, and then it's delivered to one of our complete feed bins. From the complete feed bins, then it's loaded onto the truck, and delivered to the location into the group of pigs that's most desired. One of the benefits to having our own feed mill is that we actually weigh out the antibiotics ourselves on a micro scale and we include those antibiotics or any feed grade uh, uh, additive for that matter and so we have a very precise measurement of what products we're actually putting in our feed and we know exactly where it's being delivered. We utilize antibiotics in our grow finish feed very rarely. Uh, our uh, preferred choice of, of treatment or administration is actually through the water. If we have pigs that are sick, we want to make sure those pigs get healthy again. And so we'll treat those pigs through the water as opposed to a feed-grade antibiotic. We do on occasion do use feed-grade drugs when we think it's necessary and advantageous uh, or when water medication may not be practical. There are a, a number of, of people or entities who have shown concern about the ability for us to have the antibiotics clear the system of the pig before those pigs are actually harvested. That's very important to us. We adhere to strict protocols and guidelines provided to us by the FDA and by the USDA in terms of the length of time that those pigs need to be off a certain antibiotic or feed additive prior to the time in which they're harvested and consumers have access to them.